Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Transformers fans everywhere, welcome. Ugh. Welcome to my channel, guys. I'm LPS, Last Prime Speculator. I'm trying to have some enthusiasm, but I just can't. I'm sure you've heard of all the news in regards to the future of the Transformers live action universe and the gift that keeps on giving, Lorenzo D. Bonventura. Usually I try to be open-minded, try to go from, like, you know, take notes, follow it and everything, but I, I'm not going to do that this time because I'm pissed. I'm disgusted. My Twitter has been blowing up about everything going on, Twitter and Instagram, about everything going on with Lorenzo D. Ventura, and this guy cannot keep his damn mouth shut. This is going to be a little bit different video than you guys are accustomed to. You know, I guess this has become a little bit of a, uh, a rant series. I've seen that on Twitter, on, on comments, you know, make sure to check out uh, volume two of Last Prime Speculator's rant on Lorenzo D. Ventura. I'm going to try my best to keep my language PG-13 because I know YouTube tends to demonetize and, you know, they're a little soft on it. So um, I'm going to do my best to keep my language and, uh, intact and my emotions intact because I'm pissed. I'm pissed. We're going to be reading a couple of articles. We're going to be doing a lot of ranting and reading on here. And I guess this is a different type of video than you guys are accustomed to. Um, if you guys aren't familiar... Uh, Japan just had the release of the Bumblebee movie um, recently. And of course, again, the gift that keeps on giving. Producer Lorenzo D. Bonventura has decided to be Captain Buzzkill once again. And we're going to be ranting about this. We're going to read this, and I'm going to comment with you guys, and we're going to um, tear this human being apart. I I'm tired of this shit. I really am. So we're going to be reading on these articles right here. A um, couple of them, actually. The ones that really caught my attention. Um, we're going to be talking about them, reading them. And I'm going to give you my opinion. Because I thought there was hope again in Transformers. And at the end of the day, Lorenzo D. Bonventura has got to go. Because he doesn't care about you, the Transformer fan. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about anything. And I'm going to talk about, I know some people of uh, the Bay Formers are, are hyped about this. I'm going to break it to you on this regards too. The people that are reading the new, the rumors about Bay Formers coming back. Because really the rumor is, is that there's going to be no Optimus Prime Origins movie. There is going to be no Beast Wars. There's going to be a Bumblebee 2. It's going to be a buddy-buddy Optimus Prime Bumblebee. I'm cool with that. And there's also going to be a possible sequel of Transformers The Last Night. Yeah, yeah. So let's read some of these articles. This is from Cybertron.com. Two sequels of the Transformers live action franchise confirmed in development. The main Transformer film franchise, Lorenzo D. Bonventura, stated he is currently overseeing the scripting of the two Transformer film sequels. He has said so as a part of a bigger interview to the Japanese movie news website as a part of the Bumblebee press tour. One of the films in the next big tenant pool, Transformers films, to follow The Last Night. While Others is a sequel to Bumblebee. Yes, Transformers The Last Night. Please keep in mind that following films The Last Night was already said to be a new experience, and thus must be involved in a new storyline rather than finishing what was stated in The Last Night. The Bumblebee sequel is said to be a buddy movie featuring Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, so no one would take place in the past while the others are in the present. So it sounds like there's going to be two movies, two universes, which I'm cool with. I get that. Transformers has always been known to have tons of continuities, tons of franchises, tons of universes. It makes sense. I'm fine with it. I want Transformers movies. I want to see my heroes on the big screen. I get that. No problem. No big deal. But the main thing that is driving me crazy is... Please keep in mind the film following The Last Night was already said to be a new experience. It must be involved in a new story rather than finishing what was stated in The Last Night. Remember that because we're going to talk about this, okay? Now let's hear the quote from our friend Lorenzo D. Bonventura and see what he had to say about this. Throughout the day, D. Bonventura talks with smiles. Quote, Our greatest mission to the audience is to be satisfied, to meet the expectations of the audience. To that end, 
He and his colleagues have already been working on a new series. Quote, we are already working on two projects and are in the process of writing a script. One is the latest in the main family series following Transformers, The Last Night, and the other sequels to Bumblebee. So we're thinking of the works while Optimus Prime and Bumblebee will be the buddy-buddy. But when the Optimus and Bumblebee are the movies of the protagonist, how the human beings get involved in their drama in the first place. The size difference between the human beings and theirs, it's a worrying point. Laughs. So what this is saying, guys, is Lorenzo Di Bontura, for one, is looks like in charge again and still has a freaking job, first of all, and is overseeing two scripts. This man should not be overseeing shit. This guy doesn't know anything about Transformers. Now, I know some Bayformer fans are probably really ecstatic about this, but I hate to be, I'm going to be Captain Buzzkill on this too, because I'm going to let you guys know something. We all know, and I've said it repeatedly on this channel, that I feel terrible for the Bayformer fans. You know what I'm saying? I'm pro Bumblebee. I would prefer that route, but I get you guys. You guys left at a cliffhanger with Quintessa in the desert, looking at Unicron and stating, I can show you how to kill him. And the gentleman says, who, the scientist? And she goes, Unicron. That would be awesome. But I hate to, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. The gentleman overseeing this movie is Lorenzo Di Bonventura. Lorenzo Di Bonventura has quoted numerous times saying he does not want Unicron. Does not want Unicron. So I hate to be the bearer of bad news. We think it's going to be a Unicron and Quintessa thing. It, it won't be. I guarantee that this movie, these five movies inconsistently have never been ones to follow up with each other's stories. They just disappear. Transformers just disappear. Artifacts just freaking disappear. Everything. So even though the last night they're, they're saying there's stories to tell, there, there is no stories to tell. How can you tell a story on this? Transformers The Last Night was a movie that was built on pure hype and on two scripts that were combined together. That's why it was terrible. It's my least tra favorite Transformer film out of all of them. And it's not even close. And the marketing that they portrayed on this movie was not even in close to what the, the result was. Lorenzo Di Bonventura does not want to even involve Unicron. He does not like Unicron. He has openly said he doesn't like Unicron. And probably because Unicron costs way too much money. And Unicron is Earth, guys. He's freaking Earth. And as we know, Cybertron and Earth are connected. Primus and Unicron, which again, they've never, they've never called it Primus. We all know if you're a Transformers fan, Cybertron is Primus. And it was also very interesting too. Because in Dark of the Moon, Cybertron was enormous. Way bigger than Earth. But in Transformers Last Night... Earth was way bigger. And you know why they did it? Because Unicron is bigger than Primus. But we're going to make Earth bigger than Cybertron. No, it doesn't make any sense. You got little humans. Tall, that's beside the point. Now, I know you people are thinking that maybe Michael Bay would come back. This is, a, I, in a way, we're going to get to the next article. I think there's a tradition to bring Michael Bay back. Which, I've never blamed Michael Bay for the problems of these movies. Michael Bay has done wonders with these movies. Michael Bay has brought Transformers to the big screen. The problem is who is... The producer. Lorenzo Di Bontura is the problem with this. And now he's overseeing two scripts. So if you guys are, if you Bay former fans are thinking we're going to get a Quintessa and Unicron sequel, uh -uh, it's not going to happen. Lorenzo has already said he does not want, he doesn't even like Unicron, does not want to use Unicron. And that's how the movie ended. And now they want to tell stories after that. And the other thing is, is that he's talking about in his quote, that Optimus Prime and Bumblebee are the protagonist. Now, I'm not a genius or anything, but I always thought protagonists are usually the ones that, that instigate evil biddings. This man does not want the Transformers to be the focal point of the movies. And if you think about this, Travis Knight and Bumblebee was a totally different fresh air to the franchise because it was focused on one Transformer and really it was a girl and a Transformer that really were the focal point of the movies. There was a lot. I think that's when the movie was so loved and it was, it was built with love. You could tell it was actually made by a fan. Lorenzo Di Bonaventura has repeatedly stated that he wants the humans to be the main part of these movies and then the Transformers are in the back. That's not why we go see these movies, Lorenzo. We go to see these movies because it says Transformers, not human formers, Transformers. 
We go to see transformations. It's a freaking joke. It's disgusting. So he wants to put Optimus Prime and Bumblebee in the background again and focus on moves. Now you're gonna think about this. The first Transformers movie was great. We all it's very beloved. We love it. But if you really think about it, was it a really a good Transformers movie? Because most of the Transformers didn't kill Decepticons. If you think about it, right? It was the humans. Lennox killed Blackout, I believe. Um, what is it? Megatron was killed by Sam. I'm I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now because I'm trying I'm trying to rant on this. But if you think about it. It was focused on the humans, and originally, originally, he wanted the Transformers to be invading Earth, and the humans would be the ones to stop the Transformers, almost like a battleship in a way. And Michael Bay and Hasbro got involved and said, oh hell no, 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 no. Our job is to sell toys. Our job is to sell mother freaking toys. You gotta have Optimus Prime in there. You gotta have Bumblebee in there. You gotta have Iron Man in there. You gotta have Megatron in there. Starscream. Jazz. And this man wants to do a sequel. I'm letting you know something. If Michael Bay doesn't do this, guys, nobody's gonna sign up to do this movie. This would be career suicide for a director. Plus, you've got no continuity to build a story. And they've said repeatedly, they don't want to use Unicron. I wanted Transformers The Last Night to be great. I thought Transformers The Last Night was going to be the movie that we wanted. They hired a damn writer's room for this shit. And it was trash. I put my heart and soul into that stuff. Into those projects, into those speculations. I make videos based off of speculations where I create my own stories based off of concept art, plot, plot errors, um, Transformers, Origins. My only access to this stuff when I want to make a speculation is to go on the internet. These people have millions. They have access to everything. And they can't make any good stories. And that's why Bumblebee was such a fresh air. It was simplified. It was a good story. It had heart. It had love. That's what Transformers was. A transformation? This Lorenzo D. Ventura is a... He's a freaking joke. He does not like Transformers. He does not love Transformers. He's insulting. He, this is what Lorenzo wants. This is Lorenzo Formers. Not Transformers. And, it, it, and I really thought Hasbro was going to take more control over this and get rid of this guy and put somebody in this position who loves this shit. We'll move on. We'll move on. Let's go to the next article. Because I got more to say. Oh, so this one, this one right here, this one's even worse. TFW2005.com. The title is, oh my God, this gives me a headache, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm, I told you I was going to rant in this shit, man. Transformers Bubble B2 to have a little more Bayham. He used the term Bayham. Remember I told you about the petition to get Michael Bay back? Let's read this article. Oh my god. My head is throbbing. Producer Lorenzo D. Bonventura stated that the Transformers Bumblebee 2 will have a little more, quote, Bayham than the first Bumblebee movie. Oh my god. Guys, he, they're taking the success of Bumblebee and the love that was put into by Travis Knight and they're gonna add their little special ingredients and put and put a little bay formers on the on that delicious steak we just got put put season it up a little bit again guys if, if you if, if this is something that you're not into I apologize this is my channel I'm gonna say what I want to say and I'm speaking out for the fans that have been talking about this and actually got hope because this article just proves they just do not care and they just spit in our freaking face. Let's read this again. Quote, The audience has asked us several times in different ways. I wanted to get to know the Transformers better. We did that. In some respects, definitely a tip to what the audience has said to us. The interesting part is when you set out to do something like that. You don't exactly know what the ramifications of it. In this case, the ramification was 
for the people who didn't love the movie was not enough action because you're telling a more intimate story. Therefore, you can't, stated the producer. Bumblebee 2 will serve as a buddy movie featuring Optimus Prime. Quote, several lessons have come out of this. One is that we have the freedom to tell almost any story. The other is that how strongly the audience identified with, with the strength of the characters and emotion. I know the next Transformers of our attempt anyways is to do some sort of fusion of Bumblebee and the Bay movies and a little more Bayham and a little bit more characters falling in love with the emotion dynamic of the movie. One of the things I want to do and hope we can pull off is what we did with Bumblebee because he was so cute and so accessible, but he can't talk. I think the more humans we can make these characters, the more people are going to like them. Again, he goes back to humans, man. He, like, yes, that's true. We want development stories, but you are so obsessed with bringing humans into this. It's called Transformers, dude. Lorenzo, it's called Transformers. Like, it's like they're going to take the success of Bumblebee and be like, wow, people really like this. And like, I I'm sorry, the, the, the small part was what, 20% maybe of these people that wanted more action? The critics and the audience pretty much agree everybody really liked this movie this sounds like he's taking the parts of the people that he wants and what he wants to listen to because not a lot of people are doing it the people that are saying they wanted more action and more of this disturbance and, and more bayham are the 20 percent of the people that are crying the ones that are probably going to dislike this video are the ones that he's talking about that lorenzo is you know portraying that people want that's not true people were thrilled with bumblebee it's a success. It's getting a sequel because of the love that was put on it. You want to know why Bumblebee did so well? Bumblebee did so well because of word of mouth. Bumblebee didn't do as well as opening week. Bumblebee did well the second week, the third week, the fourth week because word of mouth spread. This is a good Transformers film. This is a good movie. There was actually storytelling in this. There was love. That's what Transformers is, dude. And you're saying that they, they, they wanted more action? There was plenty of action. The reason why this did so well is because of the story. People want to go see movies of story time. This guy wants to do a summer blockbuster. This guy doesn't give a shit about you guys. He doesn't. He only cares about your money. He doesn't care about continuity. He doesn't, care. He doesn't like Transformers. This guy wants your money. This guy is going to kill Transformers. How does this guy still have a job? Bumblebee did well because of Travis Knight. Because I'll be honest, the word of mouth is still out there. People are sick of Bumblebee not talking. We are sick of it, Lorenzo. But the storytelling and the love of Travis Knight made this movie so great. And you know how refreshing it was to see that Cybertron scene and to see Bumblebee talking? It was beautiful. What really gets me amped up and pissed off is he used the word Bumblebee 2 will have a little more Bayham this is a call to, 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 to Michael Bay and Lorenzo has stated he is a fan of the Bayformers this is a call to Michael Bay this this is this is Optimus Prime reaching out his chest and pulling out the Matrix of leadership and spreading the light you know in Batman when they when they make the call to Batman, the police do say we need you to put in the sky and you see the big Batman slow going on and Batman to rise? That's what Lorenzo's doing. He's doing it in the Bay Formers. He's doing the Michael Bay thing. Michael Bay, we need you. There's a reason why this was successful, because it wasn't Bayham. Again, Michael Bay, you could tell, started losing the passion of, of these films. After five movies, these take a lot out of you, man. These take a lot out of you. I think Michael Bay really really is done, but the way to get Michael Bay back is to feed his ego. I love everything that Michael Bay has done for this universe. I love the fact he brought Transformers back. I love the action he provides, the passion in his explosions, his money shots. The man can make a trailer. The man can make a trailer. But he's an action-packed guy. Storytelling is not his thing. He does his storytelling through explosions and wow and money shots. The thing that was so great about Travis Light is that less is more. And it's like you, Lorenzo has a little bit of success in this and now he's trying, oh, oh cool. We made some money. 
We can do it on Holiday One. I can't believe Hasbro's given this guy the the, the 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 privilege of doing this. This guy should be gone. Now they're not doing a Beast Wars movie, which I can kind of see. Beast Wars would cost a lot. Beast Beast Wars Beast Wars would cost a lot of money. And basically, with the marketing and everything, they would need, it would need to make close to a billion dollars to make a profit. You know what I'm saying? Between the marketing and make it. They're not doing an Optimus Prime Origins movie. They're going to do a Bumblebee 2, which we want, which they they deserve to do a Bumblebee 2 because it it was a great movie. It deserves a sequel, but doing a buddy-buddy movie. So what they're doing is they're doing... They're doing an Optimus Prime and Bumblebee movie. So Bumblebee 2 is Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. Because they say they can't tell a story for Optimus Prime. They don't want to tell a story for Optimus Prime because you want to know why the person running this doesn't know anything about Optimus Prime. I'm so tired of this, man. Lorenzo Di Bonaventura has got to go. This man's a joke. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. And again, the the Transformers of last night was a failure. It was a failure in the box office. It might have made some money, but it didn't make what in any other Transformers movie lots. And nobody is going to be able... Nobody's going to want to touch this movie. Because of the hate that... The backlash that it received. So yes. Some fans are like, yeah, we could do a, we could do a m- movie... Explaining what happened with Quintessa. Explaining what happened with Unicron. You could even use it when Megatron got kicked out of... The, of, um, um, of Cybertron and fell out. What happened? Yeah, you can use that. But guess what? You can't trust them. Especially because this man, Lorenzo Di Bonaventura, has openly stated he does not like Unicron and doesn't want to use Unicron. You gotta think of the direction of this too, man. Is that they made Unicron Earth and they took it from something that was beloved and that was Transformers Prime. They literally took the one thing that was not very well received in Transformers Prime and that's making Unicron Earth. And they put that in this movie. The only thing, Transformers Prime is beloved. It's one of my favorites. I still watch that shit. It's incredible. Now you want Bumblebee 2 to get more Bayham. You're doing a Transformers 6 sequel. How the hell can you do that? Lorenzo Di Bonaventura. I wish he had some social media or something because I'm tired of this shit. This guy has got to go. Hasbro, what are you doing? What are you doing? If you guys know me, I'm a passionate person. I love this shit. This stuff needs to be handled with love. This stuff deserves to be handled with honor. Frank Welker and Peter Cullen are getting older. Transformers The Last Night was, in my opinion, one of the biggest disappointments ever. Ever. That was their time to do the Megatron Optimus Prime Origins. It looked so good. The marketing, the, that trailer, that's still one of the best trailers I've ever seen. This is what he wants. This is not what the fans want. A man in power that knows nothing about Transformers is running Transformers. He only cares about your money. And you, again, Bay Former fans... I know this is, you might think this is good news. This ain't good news. You're not going to get your Unicron shit. You're not. What stories are there to tell? That's where they left in the big, a big cliffhanger. You're not going to get it, guys. I hate to tell you that. It's not going to happen. And you can't tell me you trust this guy. And again, I don't, I can't see, this is, this sounds like Michael Bay is being begged to come back. I, I just don't see Michael Bay even wanting to come back. This sounds like somebody that's trying to feed his ego and this is also somebody who's desperate and trying to keep his job. But apparently he's overseeing two scripts. When this man oversees two scripts, this means he's in control. This guy wants to make the Autobots and the Decepticons the protagonist. He said Optimus Prime and Bumblebee the protagonist. And he, we don't care about humans. If we want humans, we can watch MTV. We go to Nerd Out to see Transformers, to see Transformation, to see robots fighting other robots, to see Cybertron. To nerd out, to geek out. I'm done. I'm done with this dude, man. And apparently, I guarantee he's going to keep his his name in the press. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos, guys. I'm really sorry about this rant. If they offended anybody, I don't care. I don't care anymore. 
This is insulting to you, the Transformer fan. This is insulting to us. This is a, this is this is a joke. I don't have the optimism anymore with this with this gentleman anymore. This gentleman is done. He's done in my book. If you're new to this channel, make sure to consider subscribing. Turn on all notifications. Don't forget to like and share this video. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Prime Speculator. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little rant video. I plan on doing a couple more. I guess I can start speculating on this and provide you my stories with the stories we probably won't be seeing now. So if you're, like I said, guys, uh, make sure to like this video, share this video. I love to get this going. Um, I love for Lorenzo to see this video because he needs to hear this. He needs to hear our voice. And Hasbro needs to hear our voice and know that the audience is pissed. We can't take this anymore. We can't be accepting of this. Even the Bay Former fans, you guys aren't going to get the story you want. You want the cliffhanger. It's not going to happen. This man has got to go. He's got to go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is LPS here to bring you another video. I love you guys so much. Peace.